Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are Barnet Castle and we're going to be doing a rough, and roughly me, three miles. And for me, my so what we're going to be doing is, so my is we've me. parked up on the main so street, my is here, we're walking past the church and, and we're going to be heading straight down. And my, um, Castle should be on your left, straight down to the river. When we get down there, we're going to take in the scenery. There's a few spots down there which we're going to look at. Um, I'll get it on video. See you in a bit. Immediately when you walk down the path, you come to an incredibly steep hill. Just be careful because there's lots of debris from the trees and soil on the path. Can get really slippy. We're heading down here now, as you can see me is on one, loving it so far, bit wet, but we've come well prepared, we've brought food, coffee, pop and sweets. So when we get to about a mile and a half, halfway around, we're going to find a seat, have a bit of a rest, scran some bait, take in the lovely weather. Straight away we've got the signs. Welcome to the Roman Weir picnic site. Got all the information here that's about the area. Lovely seating area. And then we're going to head left. When you turn left, down the steep bank past the picnic area straight away you're going to get a glimpse of the castle great scenery you've got all the nature plants weeds everything coming out of the sides of the castle fantastic even if you look to your right you've got the view from over the river great all the smells because it's raining and it's not really raining in a good few days all this new smells coming up because it's wet back there something just smelled like two lot of piss didn't it Mia? back there it smelled like weed didn't it didn't it it smelled like weed back there but it must have been the plants we keep walking on as you can see it is very wheelchair friendly some steep parts so I hope your brakes work when you come out from the castle wall you'll look to the right and you'll see a bridge just ignore that we're going to continue on the left hand side path which is straight on eventually we're going to be pulling off to the right and following the river we're going to head a few um, about a mile down cross the river then just head back up and then that's when you'll be coming back over the bridge straight on now i'll show you the right hand turn towards the river keep walking along the road and you'll come to the blue bell it's on the corner you can't miss it me is enjoying it aren't you and tell me i've enjoyed then directly over the road from the blue bell is the teasdale way walk that's where we're going to be following it continue on down the path walking along just past the blue bell we've passed some cottages there on the left we've come to a huge green open space it's fantastic you've got a beautiful park to the left you've got the river to the right plenty of parking after the walk we're going to come back down here and i'm going to bring the car down and me is going to go have a go at the park loads of open space We're heading down to Abbey Bridge. That's the bridge where you cross. Head back up towards Barnet Castle. We can see the river now to the right. We're going downstream and we've just come across this cottage here. Overlooking the river. Dream home. Absolutely gorgeous. They all are to be fair. Walking down the beautiful. We've just been talking to a woman attending to a garden really friendly 
Really nice area. Plenty to do for the kids. Plenty to see. Barnet Castle, loads of shops. But I'm really jealous of this house. Imagine waking up every morning looking at this view. Unbelievable. Just been talking to the owners of that beautiful house overlooking the river. He said, what a coincidence, he said the previous owners used to run the post office in Ferry Hill. And I asked him, um, was the post office on Dean Road, three storey building, stuff like that? And he said, quite possibly. It rings bells. What a small world. Had a big crack with them. They're from Ferrier. I mean, those who are from the local area, you'll understand, obviously. But um, what a coincidence. Lovely chap. I've had a big crack with him. He's, he's uh, been there a year. Loves it. So, he's just been asking us about tents. He's going camping soon. He's just bought a Van Gogh Pro 100, I think it was called. Something like that. But, yeah. We're walking through the farmer's fields now. This is where it starts to open up. All the cottages are back there. Beautiful, absolutely amazing houses. Walking through them, having a look, being a bit nosy, but you love it. Me is loving it. The weather is horrendous, like absolutely lashing down, but we're enjoying it. We, there's no such thing as bad weather, only appropriate clothing. So Mia, today, she's fully kitted out. This is what we got her. Now, for those who want to get out, it can work out quite expensive when you go to the shops and you're getting all the brands. I just want to tell you this. Mia's coat from the charity shop, three quid. T-shirt that we got her was from Grow Outdoors, three pound that was on sale. We got our bottoms, which are high gear, quick dry, waterproof or splash proof or something like that. I think they were about 12 on the sale. And I got us some boots, regatta boots, waterproof from the car boot sale, two pound. So when you do shop about, you can get some good deals. It doesn't cost an arm and a leg to be fully kitted out. Myself today, I'm just wearing a pack of Mac. I've got my quick dry pants. OEX boots and I've got my technicals bag again that wasn't very expensive I went for the sales got them pretty cheap it does the job everything doesn't have to be burg house or rab this you need something that's gonna do the job that's gonna suit your budget and it won't break the bank the main thing that you've got to be doing is enjoying yourself get the basic stuff get yourself out if you like it and you want to spend a bit more money then yeah get yourself out and buy all the burghouse stuff when you spend more money on these things there is a reason they're better quality they're going to last longer they're going to be more waterproof and they're going to withstand more aggressiveness of the walk and they're going to last longer they won't rip and tear me has grown really quickly so this is why i don't spend a great deal on it because what's the point that might last her a year and then she's going to need some more are you enjoying it mia yeah. what's your favorite thing so far i'm walking i got shop and got we're going to go to the shops afterwards and see what we can find. Sometimes when you're walking along, you just have to have a look at the views and that's going to build time up. So it's gorgeous, man. Normally I would predict, normally, normally I would predict three mile per hour, but obviously with the burn, it's going to be double that easy. We've got the sheep kicking about. And when you're looking at all the views, that's also going to add time on. So when you bring the kids, maybe 
treble what time you would normally do it in we need the bridge now we're gonna have a little break and have our dinner you'll walk through the forest continue on and it'll start to incline then you'll come to a little style then you see abbey bridge and you come to this absolutely awesome view breathtaking cross the bridge when you get to the side turn right we're heading back to Barna castle as you're walking up the b road when you look to your left you'll see a sign saying eggleston abbey honestly it's class it looks absolutely amazing you saw it from the bridge and i didn't know what it was at first absolutely brilliant you can park up there you can take your car up park in i'm presuming that you have to pay to get access i would think but you can see it from here it looks absolutely fantastic but we're not going up that way you can go up that way there's a public path we're going to continue on the b road to the right walk um around about 200 yards and then veer off to the right public path back on the river back towards barnet castle the rain's really starting to come down now so just down from eggleston abbey we've come to like a little beach area we're gonna have 15 minutes here eat some scram there's a nice little zone here that's covered up by the tree it's beautiful mia's launching the stones loving it we're gonna eat our food continue on the b road then veer off to the right back onto the public path along the river absolute love days like this me is in a fantastic mood loving it the weather's absolutely lashing it down we've taken a shelter under a tree and we've got the view gorgeous me what are you having for your dinner what are you having she's got crisps cheese string packet of grapes banana and an apple haven't you then i'm gonna buy a big juicy pie when i get back to barnet castle when you've continued up this b road look to your right and through the bushes you'll see the public path sign you need to be through here and this is going to take you back up to barnet castle we've walked along the farmer's fields now for about half a mile we'll come to this little private road here tea sales way sign saying turn right there's a lovely little shed here with the with a deer on mia look look at the deer on the shed yeah. nice and there yeah. we're going to turn right we're going to go through the caravan site we're not too far away now from barnet from barnet castle we've walked through the caravan site now it's literally just one path you stay on that one road there's plenty of signs directing you where to go and then there's a sharp left at the campsite go through that gate you'll see the sign teesdale way and then you'll come to this little looks to be like a little village um hang on mia and then you'll you'll be in this in this field but again you, you, you can see the signs just keep looking for the little yellow and green plaques and that's going to direct you to where you need to be not too far now we're nearly back at Barnet castle really enjoyed it but the weather hasn't let up rain the whole time we're absolutely soaking but it's class we okay we've enjoyed it me has enjoyed it but now she wants a grapes don't you um, okay. nearly there get yourself out in the rain it's only rain it's not gonna hurt you it's not gonna kill you get yourself the right equipment get yourself out enjoy yourselves we've come past the houses now i must have took a wrong turn back there somewhere but it hasn't really made any difference we're back on the tea still we're heading towards barney me has literally had a pullet full of grapes loads we're back on the right path now if anything that public path was a bit of a shortcut it's worked out all right in the end nearly there we really enjoyed the walk i've never done that walk yet first time i've done that on that way 100 percent do it again class 
gosh, but it's uh, if I was by myself, it would have been round within probably an hour and a half with the burn, a little bit longer. But when Mia is out with us, it's about her enjoying herself. That's the whole point. Getting her out into the nature, loving it. Mia's been coming out now since she was about two and she's been going up the allotment from the age of one she's always been an outdoorsy girl but that's that's what I'm trying to achieve getting her to love the outdoors getting to know flowers and plants she's not shy really bad now she's done really well get yourself around this walk it's only three and a half mile Round Barnet Castle, it's quite good for wheelchairs, but for that walk, it gets to a certain point where prams, wheelchairs, anything with wheels, it's going to be no good. Uh, but definitely around Barney, around the castle area, 100% you can take chairs, prams, like you say, out on wheels. It's all flat, concrete. Mm. Nearly there, let's keep going. Not too far up the path. You'll see another sign, Teesdale Way. Greenbridge, Barnet Castle Town Centre is directly over there, then up the hill. Nice little bridge, hellish views, great views and picturesque for photographers. Again, those houses over there, what a hell of a view they've got. Jealous. What over the bridge now? I'll show you a better video in a second. <laughs> we at the bottom end now of Barnet Castle. We will be passing the Blue Bell that was on the corner but this time we're going to head straight up into the town because we're going to go around the shops so you'll see on the end of the video where we've walked won't you yeah. we're almost at the Barnet Castle town centre now we've come up the steep bank we could have turned left at the blue bell and that would have took us where we first started off but we haven't we've gone straight up we're at the town as you can see there you can park on the steep hill for free it is really steep there's a long stair car park here there's a short stair car park you also can park on the main road as you're coming in but it's it's an extended walk and if you've liked this video and you want to see some more please subscribe remember to like it and watch some more we'll see you later